It's a shit ton of glass. So last time we talked about this, we made this beautiful template, right? For the curved glass panel that we're gonna build the tank today. And you can see that it, this was the bottom template, which was the external. This is the front panel, which is about th almost one inches because it's two lights of half inch Starfire low iron glass laminated together on this bend. And then this top thing with these radius corners is the cutout and then magic. Whoa, that's what you get for a lot of money. That's the top cap that we'll put on last once we've assembled the three walls of the curved glass tank. But this is really super cool. Um, it's done CNC, it's not water jet, it's actually CNC and done in a computer. But that's an expensive piece of glass. But when you're done, there's no center brace. You put a couple radions up here and uh, the center, the overflow in the back of it, it's gonna be a beautiful aquarium. When we put the bent glass panel back into the crate that it came in, I marked what's up and what's down. Because you can't be guaranteed that it isn't perfect when it's heated up to an oven to like 1600 degrees to bend it in the first place. So each piece of bent glass is not always exactly perfect to the original piece of bent glass. So from what you made on the template is how you need to rebuild on the bottom glass, which is right here. So we'll carefully pull this piece of glass out and put it on some blocks on the floor, get it organized, put the silicone bead down and set it in place. What I'm gonna do, there's wood on the floor. I'm gonna pull my end out, get my cup in here. You just leave your end in. And uh, just don't let it, all right, just don't let it fall out. Right? I have a small oven at home that I heat glass up in too. I also use that to make pottery and my off time for fun. Right? The red thing. See how much control I have over that glass? I'm not fighting it. Let's just go lift up lightly. One, two, three, too much, right? So try it the other way. One, two, three. I'm fine. How you feeling? I'm feeling great. Okay. Hang on, we gotta, we gotta, there we go. Down. Okay, Chris going in. Push it in, okay, there you go, pump it down. So we can't go anywhere now. Right. But it is heavy this way, you know why? Because the center of gravity is over here. Because the curvature of the earth is creating gravity to push the curved panel away. Boy, I really like to put it on a rack. Where are you going? We're gonna go this way. It's a little touchy. We might swarm a little bit of silicone, but it's all right. Just put extra. The first glass box that I ever built, I was seven years old with my dad. I was nervous. It was 14 gallons. And I'm ready whenever you are. One, two, three. You gotta put your foot to keep the control of the panel. Yep. Okay, down. The great thing about aluminum tape is it really doesn't give a lot. It's permanent. We gotta razor blade it off afterwards, but that ain't going anywhere now. You wanna help for a second? Come on over here and put your finger on this cup, pull on this a little, and put your thumb here. And then when we're finally done, we'll put a clamp on it. How does that end down there look? Chris, pretty good? What about the bottom? Gotta go in. Got it? Push it against the glass. We're gonna let this dry for about, um, 
I'm gonna let it dry for about four or five days. Let the silicone set up really good, then I can pull all the stuff off and we'll start doing the perimeter, the internal overflow box, and eventually we'll put the top cap on. Push that, yeah, push. The, yeah, the whole panel. There you go, there you go, okay. So we've now completed the initial build of this. It's about a 300 gallon bow front, low iron glass, bent glass front panel. Um, it went together pretty well. It's, how would I call it? It's a little free form when you build with a curve with the panels to get everything to match up as well as possible. But the most important part is to get this curve, the radius itself, matching up with the bottom glass so it's nice and clean because this is the viewing angle when you go to with the millwork on the front and on the top everything's got to be nice and flush here so when we put that top cap on the cnc cutout we're going to do the same thing make sure it's clean on the front and follows that front edge it hangs over a little bit on the back it's inset a little bit on the back it doesn't matter what matters is the visual aspect but that's a big viewing panel that's all of five and a half feet of viewing It'll be like a, a huge curved glass, um, you know, reef aquarium. Unusual, um, but still super safe, 30 inches tall. What a beautiful piece of glass. Or did I say?